Hi! In this tutorial I will show you how to create a simple donut, but in lazy style. So first of all we need to have Blender 2.93. And now let's go! So first we need to create some torus. And like, let's make it more detailed. Let's create more donut style. So I think that would be nice. All right. So let's shade it smooth. Now let's add some displacement because like we could do it like that but it would be slow and rough so let's add a displacement texture clouds let's create make it bigger and now reduce the strength and now it looks like a donut let's save so what we need next of course we need a I don't know how it's called in English, but we need to put something on top of the donut to not be boring. In order to do this, we could of course manually like select those faces and make it manually. But we won't do that. That would be slow and difficult. So let's take make Blender do that for us. Let's create a cube. Oh, and like rename the torus to donut. Let's make a cube. Let's make it viewport display wire. Now make it like this, like this. Maybe a little bit. So we'll do some amount of simulation in order to do that. So we need to create a domain. So that would be domain. Oh yeah. So now let's create a circle. Move it up. Put seven on the numpad. Scale it down. Edit mode. Scale it up. Great. Now add some loop cuts. Great. So what's now? What's now? Add a subdivision surface. Make it by two. Oh, we would make that procedural, procedural, procedurally to make it editable in terms we fuck something up. Make it project. And now change the offset and put the negative value. Add the solidify modifier. Extrude it a little bit. I think that would be fine. Add another subdivision surface. Put it to 2. And it's done. So now shade it smooth. Fuck, shade it smooth. Save. Great. So what now? What now? Now we need to select the donut. Go to physics tab. Take fluid. Effector collision done. Make go to the circle fluid flow liquid done. Go to the domain save. I mean, like let's let's be honest. Manta flow and other things aren't quite reliable. Uh, go to fluid. Domain liquid 48 would be enough. Make the CLF number 10. Disable adaptive time steps. That would be nice. Make 100% flip. Uh, like 1, 1, 0 0.1 is nice. Make it 12. 
Oh yeah, narrow bandwidth one. That's great, that's great. Mesh, enable it. It's my old cache. Yeah. Make it modular. Make the name like a little bit different. I actually like all would be enough. It's reasonable. Seven. Come on, is that all? Is that all? Yeah, I think yes. Back. Go to frame 7, disable circle, and voila! So now we need to add smooth, shade smooth, and it's done. So now let's go and create some basic materials. To do this, first we'll do Please do not compile. Oh yeah, great. Uh, we could add an HDRI, but we'll add the sky texture. It would be nice. Make it transparent. Uh, 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 uh. Reduce the strength. That's great. So now. Let's do the shading part. In order to do this, let's split our window. Fuck. Go to shading. And now create a new material. So our thing should be beautiful. So add input RGB. Give it here, make it here, a little bit of subsurface, maybe make it a dark chocolate. Great. But it's boring. So let's add some detail. In order to do this, we'll need noise texture, make it 250 or whatever you want. We need vector bump, height, normal. And come on, if we compile it, and it will look like actually like not 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 that bad, but it's definitely too strong, so we will reduce it a little bit. Is it okay? No, actually, yeah, now it's better, but it's not all. Now let's add color RGB curves. Let's connect factor to the, oops, to the color and color to the roughness. And let's have we compile it. It's looking way nicer. Let's make it more shiny. And uh, yeah, now it's great. So we've got this part. Now go to the donut part. And texture, image texture. Open the texture we've got here. Connect it to the base layer and it looks like shit. So, what to do? Go to the edit mode, one on the numpad, project from view, and we've got it. We've got a donut. But it's not all. Of course, it's not all. Now, let's go, duplicate it, make it single. Non-color, 
to the normal with vector bump. And it looks like shit. So reduce the distance, reduce the strength, make it more rough, make it more less specular. And it could be done, except we want to add some sparkles to it. So in order to do this, let's create a small cylinder, shift S, scale it down, scale it down, shade smooth, add a new material, add input, Object info, shit, input, object info, run them to the base color, vector, oh, converter, color ramp, and now let's add some colors. So we want red, we want green, and we want blue and everything in between actually. So I will make it less rough, more specular, save and we can hide it. So now let's go here, apply scale, save, go to geometry node editor, add a new Geometry, join, connect, point, instance, point, distribute, move it a little bit, connect it, connect it, choose our cylinder, geometry, and it's fucked. Why? Because we haven't applied the scale of the cylinder. Yeah. Scale. And now it's working. But we need to move it up. We need to rotate it 90 degrees. Move it a little bit down. Yeah, now it's better. Scale it down. Scale it down. Hide it. And now add a little bit of density, add second viewport to better see it. Great! So now let's add attribute randomize. Scale. And it's even better. So yeah, I think it is actually done. Or is it? Or is it? Now let's make this pretty. So in order to do this, because yeah, now in our render mode it looks like this. So now let's render this beauty boy. So we will create a new plane, put it down, scale it up, Go to the one, put it just below. Now two on the num numpad, E, Z, subdivide, add subdivision surface, make it five. And also here. And now it's beautiful. Now let's create a little bit of Nice camera. Position it a little bit better. Save. Go to rendered view. And and blender. 
Come on, where is my camera? Oh, I don't have a camera. So yeah, add a camera. Connect it. Yeah, now we can put some 100mm lens. Position it better. Add some depth of field. Make it more shallow. Actually, you know what? Let's make it manually. I think that is pretty pretty neat. So it's boring. So actually now what we can do is use an HDRI. So I will use this add-on which uses free HDRIs. So you can find some studio HDRIs on the internet. Click add. And voila. We've got our beautiful donut. In the center of our scene. So what we've got here is quite nice. However, we can do it better. So we've got a donut. A very nice donut. But what to do to make it more interesting? So let's add a cup of coffee. How to do this? Easy. Create mesh circle. Get it up. Move it somewhere here, scale this down, E, S, S, F, select it, go to the side view, and now we can roughly model a cap Make it wireframe mode. E S E Z. F. Great. Shade smooth. Go here. Go. Oh, come on, where is it? Oh, uh, boom, they changed it a little bit. It should be uh, here, not here, not here. Oh, come on. Yeah, they definitely changed it. Yeah here out to smooth great uh, right so it's almost done we need to add a subdivision surface great and add here a loop cut here a loop cut and here a loop cut go to the face selection Extrude it. Extrude it one more time. Select this face. Select this face. Press. Oh, it does not work like this. Select this faces. F. Select this faces. F. Select this faces. F. And select this faces. F. And we've got a nice coffee cup. So let's put it somewhere right there. Put it somewhere right there. And now also let's move it a little bit like this. Make it 
bigger, save it. Let's put some coffee here. Oh, make it like this. E. E. All right, so yes, zero. Now, let's add two materials. Face select, assign, and now here, let's make it specular with low roughness and our coffee, make it dark brown with a little bit of transmission, zero roughness, max specular. And will it look nice? That's the question. Of course it will. But our... F All right, so let's change a little bit the depth. Position it a little bit better. Yeah, we should change the roughness a little bit. Oh, no, not this one. This one. The roughness a little bit more. And... We've got a pretty nice scene done. So, yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much and bye.